today's lick. Remember, we've got one lick per video. So today's lick is in G, and it's a crazy sliding type of lick. So it is based out of the G triad, the G triad that starts from the C and moved up. Remember, if we did our C chord and we had a bar on it and we moved it up all the way to the eighth fret, it would look something like this. And then we don't play our pinky finger. So it's basically, it's that shape. And the lick is based on the G scale from the D. It would be D, E, F sharp, G, then A, B, C, D. And those are the notes. And then we have a chromatic note of the uh, C sharp in here. We do a little bit of a chromatic. And those are basically all the notes of this lick. So the magic of this lick is this motion with our index finger on the D. It's a basically a, a pick, a slide down, and a slide back. So I'll do it one more time. We pick, slide down, and then slide up. And that is basically done over and over again with this index finger. And then we are hybrid picking by picking the next note that follows with our middle finger. So our first note, okay, so we pick up with the G. Then we do it again and we reach for the A with our pinky finger. Okay, so the first part. And then the next part is a little trickier. We gotta grab this B note and the way to do it is to roll that index finger down and kind of grab it with the flesh of your finger. That's a little bit tricky. So. And then we just march up and we play the C, uh, C sharp and the D. So we've got. Right? So the last part is we lay our finger to grab the B. We go to the C, C sharp, D. So the total lick would be slowly. Okay, so that is the whole lick. You can either, if you're using a thumb pick, you would you can pick up with the third finger, or if you're using a flat pick, you can pick up with the second finger. Either way, you, you don't really have to alternate. You would just use the um, the pick and one of your fingers to get that second note. So the pick would always be doing this note. And then you'd be picking up using your fingers for that. So let's just try to play that up to tempo. Okay, so the trick is, uh, the other trick when you kind of do it quickly, um, and I have problems with it, so I'm gonna keep, uh, this video is helping me learn it too is to keep the pick volume steady. So um, a lot of times when I'm doing it, I find that I'm losing volume on this part and this part is coming through. So you're not really hearing that part each time. So keep focusing on. Yeah, that this part, make sure that's ringing through. Anyway, you can combine that with all sorts of licks and throw it in and it's, uh, Looks really cool, sounds really cool. All right, so have fun with that one. Take some time on it. Takes a little bit of time to get the speed. I'm still working on it myself. A lot of times in a gig, I'll try to throw that in, thinking I'll do it, and it doesn't quite make it. So that one, this one will take a little bit of work. Anyway, have fun with it. It's a cool lick in G, based out of the scale and the G triad. So if you like what you're learning and you're liking these videos, please comment, love to hear from you. And most importantly, subscribe. Thanks, take care, bye.